Okay, hey everyone, welcome to this next lecture on in the course of uh, management and information systems. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, business to consumer specifically, uh, but in general about electronic commerce. So uh, that's what we're going to be taking a close look at today because it is a subject that is in these times where we're doing more and more things online something that is very uh, relevant and you see happening all around you. Um, here in the Netherlands, you probably have already seen around you and heard in the news that there is more and more online delivery, um, that uh, there is more need for grocery shopping that is done online and delivered to your home, that our package delivery services in the Netherlands, including PostNL, are delivering more and more packages. And of course, this all has to do with this transformation that companies are no longer only selling or can't even sell products and services in a store physically, but are selling these online. So people are transforming their business not, uh, by selling the products, not only in physical stores anymore, but through websites. Of course, uh, this is something that was already happening, but has now taken uh, tremendous flight uh, during this uh, during these times uh, even more than just um, selling things online to stand out and to gain gain that competitive advantage that we talked before in one of the previous lectures about is that they're not only just selling the same products they would sell in a physical store but also are delivering new services so it is more than just selling products online it is a transformation uh, of their business into, um, you know, a electronic service delivery, product delivery. And in this lecture, we're going to take a closer look at um, this transformation from selling products in a physical store to selling products online. But we're also going to look at some specific aspects uh, when you make that transition that become possible because of technologies. Now, in previous lectures, uh, we've talked about these trends that you have in information technology. So social media is, is a big trend, mobile technology, cloud computing, big data and Internet of Things. So a lot of these trends uh, are become apparent and um, drive electronic commerce, drive the ability and uh, drive the demand to sell products and services online. Social media allows you to reach out to the customers, as we've discussed in the previous chapter. Mobile technology allows you to reach customers whenever, uh, they, when, where they are at a moment at their convenience. So the availability increases uh, with mobile technology. Uh, cloud computing allows, makes it a lot easier. Uh, cloud computing and uh, platforms make it easier for startups for small companies to make them transition to e-commerce you don't have to invest a lot in information technology if you want to run a web shop there are platforms that offer that it facility to you uh, that's something we talked about in a chapter on acquiring information systems and big data allows people to um, analyze this consumer behavior to analyze um, what uh, the customers want and that's again important to gaining a competitive advantage that we talked about last time. So because you're doing more transactions online, it is easier to collect this data and to get to know your customer. So all these things come together when you talk about e-commerce. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is some examples, some definitions of e-commerce. And again, as in the previous lectures, I would encourage you to start thinking about some of the examples that we show you in this lecture that you might recognize from your own life. At the end of the lecture, we're going to again talk about the components that we talked about before, the contents, data and information, technology, people and organization. Because in e-commerce, a lot of this, the things that we've talked about in the previous lectures actually come together. E-commerce is not purely a technical uh, uh, development. It is not purely a uh, commercial development. It's not just about social media marketing and it's not just about transforming your organization, but it is all these things combined. So uh, e-commerce is really where you see these four components about people and organization on the one hand and information data and technology on the other hand come together 
building on these five trends that we see here. Now today, of course, there is another important trend or development that is pushing towards this e-commerce and that's the COVID-19 outbreak. Because people can't physically go to stores, people are losing customers. A lot of companies are now forced to stay in business to make that transition to online uh, marketing, online campaigning, online products and online services. So it, those other developments, these five IT trends have made it possible and have even lowered barriers because more people have access to these technologies. They've lowered the barriers for people to do e-commerce, but COVID-19 has now actually pushed companies, even if you weren't doing it before, it has become a necessity to survive. So what is e-commerce? Well, the definition here says that it's an exchange of goods and services and money between firms, firms to customers or between customers supported by communication technologies and in particular the internet. So essentially it is these transactions of goods, services or transactions involving money um, that are happened, that were always happening, but now information and communication technologies are supporting these transactions and specifically the internet. And we've talked before about in competitive advantages and in chapter five about uh, virtual communities that these uh, information and communication technologies actually widen the uh, customer base. There is more people that have access to certain products and services. And at the same time, it also opens up the, the providers and the uh, offers of products and services. So it has opened up the markets, reduced barriers and um, allow people to connect uh, buy products and services essentially from around the globe these days. So e-commerce um, is something that is really well connected to this competitive advantage that we talked about before and these five forces. It is really disrupting uh, these things. A store before the internet before we were buying things online was limited to a geographical region or to a certain area or uh, or you had to drive far if it was really a niche product product but now because with information and communication technology these barriers have been reduced those stores that were previously out of reach physically are now accessible to you to order from or to connect with so Essentially, these information and communication technologies are enabling connections between people, as we discussed in chapter five. So if we would take a look at what kind of connections uh, you could make, well, there is on the one hand, people who have a demand and people who have a supply. So um, if you talk about business to business, so the, both the demand and the supplier, then you get you know business to business. You could have consumers uh, who are buying from a business. So the consumer is demanding from a business and that's business to consumer. So you can see along this list, there are all kinds of uh, options here. You have uh, a consumer to who are selling to business even. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, people giving uh, specific uh, funding to a, to a company who are selling their products to a company, like individual products or contribute somehow. If you talk about Kickstarter that we talked about before or knowledge, uh, those are consumer to business. You also have consumer to consumer. Think about Craigslist in the United States or market and uh, Marktplatz in the Netherlands or any place where consumers can offer products to other consumers and other services. And an interesting one is also an extension, actually, to government. So you can have government to consumer, consumer to government. Think about arranging a lot of the services uh, with the, your government that you previously had to go to town hall or city hall. You can now arrange online, uh, including your taxes or any of your student loans in, if you have a government student loan here in the Netherlands. And even between governments, there are connections possible these days uh, in international treaties or in emergency response. There are systems that enable governments to exchange products, services or assistance with each other. So it's not only often you know the terms business to business, business to consumer, uh, but also think about government and think about a lot of other examples. Uh, and a lot of these other connections that are now made possible because of this information communication technology and it allows 
these two entities to exchange and connect with each other and start exchanging products and services. And uh, whether that's a private uh, business or government. Uh, one example I would give you of the service between quotes uh, of e-government, uh, so essentially consumer or citizen uh, to government and government to citizen uh, is this one. So nowadays, if you drive a red light in, in, through the Netherlands, um, you know, you automatically, the, the, the camera will register your license plate, will look up the details, and uh, you will get the fine uh, within a few days uh, in your mailbox at home, complete with a QR code that you can use or, or uh, an ID that you can use to pay online uh, for your fine. So that is an example of where the government is delivering digital services. There's no need to go to the police station and there is no need uh, that somebody has to write you a ticket. It's all digital. So the government is offering, uh, well, for the lack of a better word, this service to you uh, that you have to pay this fine. And all of that happens electronically. There's no need to physically go somewhere. So uh, another example could be tax returns, but it could also be a registering uh, um, you know, registering changes in your household or asking for uh, government assistance and so on.